goes hey. Our name since junior high But now we're down to last name Saving juniors lives It goes hey. We got pushed at the front of the class But now we're running banks Pushing fast stacks of cash It goes hey. Ears burning but we never let it catch fire Stayed calm built the dot com well, nerds, we are all aware of the fact that 2020 was an asshole of a year. A string of wildfires in Australia and the US, countless hurricanes in coastal cities, a global pandemic, a deadly explosion in Beirut, social unrest around the world, deadly floods in Indonesia, a locust swarm in East Africa, and, oh, did I mention a global pandemic? Amidst all of this and more, you may have missed out on the good stuff that happened in the world of science this year. But hey, never fear, that's why we're here. Welcome to the Dynamic Science 2020 Rewind. Phosphine gas on Venus. Earlier this year, astronomers declared they had evidence of phosphine gas, an indicator of life, in the atmosphere of Venus. And boy, did the media blow this one out of the atmosphere. Alien life found on Venus. When NASA personally investigated the case, the evidence of the gas turned out to be a mere fluke in the data. So no aliens for us in 2020. Yet. China's successful mission to the moon. The Chang'e 5 robotic spacecraft landed on the moon spent two days gathering rocks and soil from the lunar surface, and then successfully carried out a docking in lunar orbit to bring home the first samples from the moon in over 40 years. The Chang'e 5 moon lander also deployed China's flag on the lunar surface, the second country ever to do so. Growing food in space is no longer science fiction, with NASA successfully harvesting a fresh crop of radishes in microgravity on the International Space Station. Yummy! I think I'll wait for the food printer. Oldest material on Earth is discovered. Scientists analysing a meteorite have discovered the oldest known material to exist on Earth. Possibly older than Queen Elizabeth II. They found dust grains within the space rock that are 7.5 billion years old. Yes, you heard correctly. Way older than Earth itself. SpaceX successfully launched two NASA astronauts. The SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft carried two of NASA's astronauts, Robert Benkin and Douglas Hurley, to the International Space Station using the Falcon 9 rocket becoming the first private company to have flown humans into orbit. This is a lifetime achievement for SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, or should I say, Space Karen, as dubbed by the Twitterati. China successfully activates nuclear fusion device. In collaboration with many other scientists from around the world, China has achieved its first plasma discharge of a nuclear fusion device that reaches temps 10 times higher than the core of the sun bringing humanity one step closer to another highly efficient and sustainable source of energy, and supervillains one step closer to world domination. JAXA successfully brings a sample of an asteroid back to Earth. After a six-year-long mission, 3.5 of those orbiting the Sun just to get into position, and 5.2 billion kilometres in total distance travelled, Hayabusa 2, which was launched by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, has successfully sent a capsule back to Earth with a piece of the 1.6 kilometre wide asteroid Dugu inside. And by a piece, I mean one gram. However small, this sample will help scientists unravel further clues about the formation of the Earth and possibly creation itself. And if you were wondering, Hayabusa 2 is already on deployment to the next asteroid. Bye! Water on the Moon confirmed. NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, SOFIA, has confirmed the discovery of water on the sunny side of the Moon. This discovery indicates that water may be distributed across the lunar surface and not limited to cold, shadowed places. Perseverance rover launched. NASA's boldest ever Mars rover is on its way to the Red Planet, under the Mars 2020 mission, 
a car-sized Perseverance rover and the Ingenuity helicopter drone were launched in July. It will search for signs of ancient microbial life and will advance NASA's quest to explore the past habitability of Mars. And while they are there, confirm a retired Israeli general who headed Israel's space security program for nearly 30 years, Professor Chaim Eshed's, claims that aliens, sorry, the Galactic Federation, is working with US scientists in an underground base to unravel the mysteries of the universe. And not to be a dibber dubber, but Trump knows. COVID-19 lockdowns improved earthquake detection. The lockdown measures around the world due to that micro thingy with spikes, coronavirus, reduced human-caused seismic noise around the world, resulting in scientists being able to detect earthquakes of a smaller magnitude with more accuracy. Scientists hope to use this year's data to help develop better algorithms and detect future earthquakes further in advance and hopefully save more lives. New organ discovered in the human throat. Remember when Columbus was looking for a new route to India and accidentally discovered America? Well, something similar happened with scientists at the Netherlands Cancer Institute. When researchers there were studying prostate cancer, they accidentally found a set of salivary glands set deep in the upper part of the throat. Hell yeah, 2020 is just full of surprises. Coronavirus. This year is one for the history books, and not for good reasons. We've all been affected by coronavirus some way or another, and some more than others. With worldwide recorded cases currently over 68 million, 44.1 million recoveries, and over 1.5 million deaths. Our hearts here at Dynamic Science go out to everyone who has suffered and we would like to hail the heroes, those on the front line, the healthcare workers who are putting their own lives and that of their families at risk each and every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we all await a vaccine to be rolled out with three major contenders. AstraZeneca coming in third for efficacy at 65% and first in production capabilities at 3 billion doses next year. Moderna, second at 94.1% efficacy and lowest production capabilities, 500 million to 1 billion doses next year. With Pfizer, the highest efficacy percentage at 95 and second highest production capabilities at 1.3 billion doses next year. Also, they're preparing submissions to all countries that offer emergency authorization, such as the UK, who have already begun rolling out and immunising their most vulnerable. It is safe to say it has been one hell of a year, pun very much intended. We can only hope these metallic, shiny monoliths popping up around the world are somehow higher beings trying to make contact and show us the way to utopia. However, It is more likely just more synthetic metal or plastic being placed in the beautiful wilderness. We hope you enjoyed our 2020 Dynamic Science Rewind. Don't forget to leave us a comment below with a topic you want covered in our upcoming videos. And here is to a better one next year. Stay safe and keep working out those brains. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for your weekly dose of dynamic science.